Hey guys, it's Baby Powder, and we are back with another one of our mailbox clean out videos for our tuna run series. It is Sunday, so it means it's time to go through the mailbox. So, uh, last week, uh, just to recap, was really good. Uh, we ended up doing Dragon Black Crips for our second open world farm. Uh, I don't think the loot was actually the, the greatest uh, with all of our stuff, but uh, we just had some really good sales. We actually, our big one was we sold some of our stuff from Dire North from those little caches that we got. We sold a couple of those patterns uh, and it was mostly just our realm thrall. So uh, to review here, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, we made 561,000. So it was the biggest clean out we actually had. So it's going to be hard to reach again this week. Uh, which eventually actually i mean i'd love to see us actually have an open of like one million uh that would uh that'd be pretty amazing it's not that it couldn't happen i mean it's just like that if we could you know if we would have had proud more having sales like thrall at the same time we would have been really close um as mostly that was just thrall itself uh we had like almost absolutely nothing with uh proud more which is odd because proud more was there for a while doing a lot better than thrall but anyway <laughs> back to the review here uh we did dragon blight uh strat home was actually next uh and then we've got nomer um or actually strat home is this week uh we're actually gonna have nomer next week uh and that is uh so when we clean out today we added strat home so we'll see if we sold anything from strat home and actually that uh loop video seemed to be a lot better than i thought originally thought it might end up being when we first stepped into strat home it was seeming kind of rough we weren't getting too many drops but then things started to take a turn around i think it was around run 100 we started to actually get some drops and it actually turned out fairly well we had quite a few epics um and we had some of the uh the actual specific blues so hopefully uh we'll see some of those uh nomer was really good but you'll see the loot video for that tomorrow so can't wait to actually get that done so i can get some of those items up on the auction house and hopefully get some sales from it because i have to say i thought it was quite quite good um but anyway uh with that let's go ahead and take a look we made 561,811 gold last week uh that brings us to a total of 400 uh, 4 million 290,626 gold since we started this challenge which has been uh, tw uh 21 weeks um which puts us almost halfway there. We have 5,709,000 gold left to make. Um, as far as our realms, of course, you know, it's not really, you know, too much diving into. Although we should get quite a bit of material uh, gold this week since we got like righteous pearls and stuff from Stratholm. Uh, but we really are not going to see too much gold as far as materials because majority of this is dungeons so majority of it's transmog and even the open world farms were mostly concentrated on transmog itself uh but anyway we have made uh almost four million with transmog and three hundred thirty-eight thousand materials probably gonna see quite a jump today uh, as long as we sold some of those righteous uh you know orbs and things but anyway as far as the realms go uh last week Thrall killed it, just like I was you know, stating. We made 509,000 with Thrall alone. Only 52,000 with Proudmore, so really low before Proudmore. Uh, which now puts uh, Thrall actually making more than Thrall with 2,189,000 against 2,100,000 with Proudmore. Now, uh, with that, though, uh, they're not competing, so it's, it's a joint effort to get to 10 million. So we do trade items, we, especially if we have duplicate high value items. I don't really bother with the low value stuff, uh, but at least with the high value stuff, uh, if they have duplicates on one realm, we trade it over, try to sell it. Uh, just like with Proudmore, uh, we're, we're actually, we've been selling those auction house modules from when we did Skyreach last. We haven't been selling them on Thrall, so I've traded them over to try to sell them and they've sold. Uh, so that's another thing that we've actually you know trade between realms because the, the ultimate goal is just to reach the goal of 10 million and hopefully we can do that um before we actually had our clean out last week i you know added it all up and you know looked like by the time we reached the end here we actually need to get an average of about two hundred twenty-eight thousand a week to reach that goal by you know by our last farm here uh which of course we did way above that last week so that leaves us some room to get a little bit less but 
we're still hoping that won't happen <laughs> we want to get more we want to reach it before we get to the last dungeon if we can uh but hopefully we do at least reach it by the time we hit the last dungeon which is seth that calls as you'll see i did actually make some changes too real quick uh i did uh the next open world farm was supposed to be legion hold it got moved down to here so look this got moved up just thought that was a better option to go and get into as we've already actually knocked out five hours of that and then uh just so uh we were doing something different today on stream i went ahead and started on our runs for scarlet monastery and we got 70 done uh and that's actually going quite well as well so we'll uh i, I might even finish scarlet monastery because his runs are going super fast and then switch back and finish Solithus. Uh, but I am keeping everything separate, so don't worry about that. Uh, and then we'll be jumping into LBRS next. Uh, and I think that's really the only other changes I think I made. I swapped out um, here and put islands. So I might actually do some islands and try that. And then I actually um, put Strat here again for the dead side. So we're right here um so i took out the legion farm and i took out something else i can't remember what it was um but yeah i thought those were better options so that's that's what we did there uh but anyway guys let's go ahead and get to our first bank alt and see how we did for this week <laughs> see if we can at least get over two hundred thousand. that's the goal uh to get you know to at least two hundred thousand. but um you know if we can get above that even better uh so our first bank alt right here and let's go ahead and take a look so we have our low value transmog tune on proudmore and let's see if we got any sales and we do um not bad actually so fifty thousand four hundred sixty-seven gold eight items sold um so not not a bad amount for only eight items on our low value transmog let's see we sold the plans for the mithril scale shoulders uh eight thousand gold uh we also sold our emperor shield here for three thousand gold um let's see blood scale <laughs> it's a little low value i mean it's only 758 but still blood scale piece from when we we're doing ramparts uh creeper claw bow uh sold 5000 uh gold that is from iron docks i believe that's still iron docks item not actually from sky reach which we did more recently so we're still selling iron docks stuff uh which doctors came uh sold one of those for almost 9000 gold um, we sold one of the Nat Pecos books. Not bad amount either. Almost 19,000 gold for that one. Uh, of course, that came from Dire Mall. Could have came from either one. I do feel like we get majority of those books from doing the east side, uh, which we actually did first. Uh, but we did actually pick up some doing north as well. We still got quite a few. So you <laughs> have one right here. Uh, so yeah, we, we've got plenty of these. What is that? It says we have still like 50 books left. Uh, so plenty. Uh, Charlotte's chastising pauldrons um that is <clears throat> if i'm not mistaken that is a uh a wrath item pretty certain that was a wrath item that we got uh 4700 and then a vital tunic uh so not bad starting out here uh let's go ahead and add that in up here and clean it out right 50 four, six, seven right and we'll clean that out then we'll switch on over to our high value main tune hopefully we have some exciting stuff there as we can get past the loading screen loading screens have been rough today we we're doing scarlet monastery on stream today <laughs> and man we had two really bad ones trying to get back into the dungeon um that was rough anyway <laughs> we got uh five cells on a high value transmog better than they did last week but still not great i think they only had like 1000 gold on high value transmog last week but uh still better Thirty-eight thousand five hundred fifty-six gold um this is more along the lines of our low value transmog bank alt so let's see what we did sell here ring collar robes two thousand spoke shield um 13,000 spoke shield is that wrath as well uh I'm thinking it is I'm not 100% let's go lakes those sold 13,000 uh they're only valued at about 30 so not horrible almost half the value like I mentioned anytime you get about half the value it's always a pretty good sell uh just the good thing is they really sell quick the only problem is we didn't get too many when we did ramp <laughs> so uh twin is uh stiletto sold one of those for 5,000 uh I think that's really good because i think it's usually way overinflated 
uh so still getting 5,000 is good tyrant slate plates uh 4600 so not bad for what we sold we just didn't really sell anything too great um so we'll add that in up here <clears throat> the problem was at least doing slightly better but still not great at least we do actually have some material value this time which we really didn't have much last time uh so that can possibly help us out this week in areas where we're you know maybe not doing as well of course i don't expect to get like 500,000 <laughs> gold clean outs every single week that was just a really good week we had some really nice sales um but yeah hopefully we can have one that's even better so here's our materials bank all we have some expires here but yeah not bad at all <laughs> one of our biggest ones here it actually is our biggest one 102,945 gold um and we did actually get kind of lucky and sell uh this first sale here i believe uh we sold them uh, or maybe it's not this one i'm not sure if it's this one or not yeah it is this one see it's about double the value uh so we sold them really high here and then they started to drop down but yeah we sold 92 here got 41,000 gold for those righteous orbs uh essence of undeath 148 of them for 7800 fell cloth only had eight pieces we got 364. we did also sell another auction house module uh 6, gold uh and actually i might even trade one more over because i still have two left over on thrall and then we sold righteous orbs again 80 and 89 25,000 and 21,000 uh so yeah you can definitely tell the difference because it's, it's it's not as much but it's almost as much and it's about we sold them for about almost half the value we were selling them for right here uh but yeah so anyway 102,945 gold not bad at all first time we're actually having a whole lot of i mean the only other times we have really good material gold was after dire Mall, both dire Malls really um <laughs> like the first one dire Mall east we had like eighty thousand, and then we had uh like sixty thousand from dire Mall north uh from those caches giving us those materials uh but anyway guys that is it for the alliance side uh we are currently at 102,000, so as long as we can make like a hundred thousand on thrall we're good so i'm going to go ahead and cut and we're going to come back on thrall and do the same rotation and see where we're at all right guys so we're back here now on our horde low value bank tune and it's going to go through the same rotation here and we got some sales not quite as much actually as uh alliance but actually it was the high value bank tune <laughs> probably did us really good last week so we'll hopefully see some good sales over there this time uh but can't count on it two weeks in a row but we'll see uh let's see we got nine sales here forty-five thousand three hundred thirty-two gold um almost at the same value let's see we sold another nat pagel's book uh pretty nice actually we sold two of them one here for almost the same amount eighteen thousand, and then one a little bit lower at about eleven thousand, but still a lot better than those weeks when we were selling them at like three and four thousand <laughs> stuff so really nice to see them up there at least that high uh sold some skeletal shoulders for five thousand gold um that was i think we got that from strat actually i think it was just like a world drop blue um salt stone shoulders uh only 1800 still they're, they're kind of low uh lunar sphere is really low <laughs> judges gavel 729 and coast point that's also a world drop epic blue uh get out chests and things sometimes and just all sorts of places almost 8,000 gold so not bad to see 8,000 from that one at least uh so yeah not too bad for what we actually sold nice to see some more of those books going again we still have like 50 of them <laughs> so we're we're doing quite well with those we still have uh plenty to go around might have to pull some out of the bank on this tune at least to replace some of those but but yeah um i'm sure we still actually have some up on the auction house but i like to have a couple spares so i can like post over them um so may need to pull some out for that uh but anyway that's low value let's go over to high value where we had some really big sales last week <clears throat> I do know at least um, you guys don't see these realms, but in my old realms, we really had some big sales um, as we sold another rich purple silk shirt pattern. So I've actually sold three since I did the 1000 runs for the Almond series. All right, well, for Alderman, the 1000 run series. Um, so I only have one left. So hopefully I can sell that. And we only have one sale. Still uh, not bad at almost being at the same value that uh, Proud More had with Thurs with only one sale. Uh, just needed more sales than just one uh, 29,361 gold and that is for the battle chasers greaves 
not 100% sure where we got those. 29. I'm trying to think. Um, I think it's a blue item that was possibly specific from somewhere. I can't remember. But, uh, but yeah, I might have to look into that. You guys let me know uh, if, if you know where they're from. But Battle Chasers Greaves. All right, 29,361 gold. Clean that out. And then we got our materials, which it should be somewhere similar. Although I don't know if we actually sold the righteous orbs at the same value when we had actually the big sales on them. Um, so it may not be quite as good. All right. <clears throat> and let's see here. Got some expires again. See, we've got, yeah, we got two of the auction house modules left. And yeah, only 68. Um, and let's see, nowhere near is good with the righteous orbs. Actually, way less here. 222 of them for only 54,000. That's we saw them really low there, unfortunately. I did hold back at one point, but I guess uh, I missed it here and accidentally posted them way too low. Um, that's okay. 26,000. Uh, Essence of Undeath, 146 to 8,000. And Fell Claw, 5 at 227. So yeah, uh, 222 of them, this is really low. We're probably selling with like a hundred and something a piece. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's not good. Uh, but hey, we, we still got more than, you know, what we've been getting in some of our clean house for materials. And there we go. Okay. So not bad, not bad. Wish we could have got more for those, but still not bad overall as we actually did. We, we <clears throat> excuse me. We actually got three hundred and thirty-five thousand five hundred ninety-seven gold materials. Really came through with that though. Actually made more in materials than we made in transmog at one hundred and seventy-one thousand eight hundred eighty-one gold in materials. Three hundred sixty-three thousand seven hundred sixteen gold in you know transmog, bringing us to three hundred thirty-five thousand five hundred ninety-seven gold. But hey, at least we did make over the for you know the 200,000 so we're good there again pretty high one uh that now brings us to a total of 4,626,223 gold um that we've made since we started uh leaving our you know amount to get before we're actually at our goal at 5,373,000 so we're very close as long as you know it'd be really nice if we could at least get right to halfway after our next one, hopefully maybe Nomer can help us get there. <laughs> it's hard to say if that will happen, but uh, it would be nice. It'd be nice. Uh, so far, as far as Transmog, we've made 4,116,000 gold. And as far as materials, we have now made 509,000 gold. So uh, not bad, really. Um, you know, I think 20, 21 weeks in, uh, we've, you know, almost made 5 million gold uh, with just doing, you know, two realms doing mostly dungeon runs we've done a few open world farms uh but really uh really not bad at all uh but anyway guys that is going to really conclude this uh this week's clean out um hopefully you guys are enjoying these if you are make sure you let me know by hitting that big thumbs up down below uh lets me know that you guys are enjoying these clean outs um again we have actually completed stuff but we wait till the end of the week to only add one of a you know our dungeons at a time so we can see it build up uh hopefully you guys are liking that we are afterwards looking to i'm tr you know looking to do this all over again but do it as kind of like a rush maybe mix some of the dungeons around to see if we can't actually reach the goal faster um of course we probably will because we're just <laughs> we're including you know our loop a lot faster by not you know only limiting it to adding one set of dungeons uh loot each week uh but anyway guys uh don't forget to check out tomorrow's loot video over about nomer where i go over the loot as far as what we received from doing our 200 runs of nomer also don't forget to come over to twitch join us for some of these loot appraiser challenges uh it's a lot of fun uh or just come in you know join us for some good conversation uh the link is down below for twitch we also have a link down below for discord if you want to join it's a great community the you know a lot of people in there are more than happy to help you with any of your goal making questions that you may have as far as building a speed druid um you know maybe helping you with getting started with crafting or anything like that also guys um 
it, you know, just don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of these videos when they're coming out. Uh, and just to see what I'm doing next. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me on this one. I hope to see you all in tomorrow's video for our loot for Nomer. And I hope to see you all in stream. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day.